Hi, it's Hans at ahappiermen.com. Today's topic is how to feel better after traumatic events and trying times. Well, the first thing you probably need to to get in mind is that if that you have if you have gone through trying times or traumatic events, it will take time to feel better and it, but you also you may be at the point where you don't know that you will ever feel good again. You know, trying times and traumatic events can be that uh, detrimental to you. But I, I guess the idea, what I'm getting at is, if you focus on uh, feeling better, you, you, you eventually will. And the first thing to do is to understand that, yeah, you've gone through a lot. Now, I, I feel like I have something to offer here because I did have some tremendous traumatic events and some real trying times and I'm kind of talking to other people who I know who have these traumatic events and have been dealing with tra tra trying times and how do they get to the point where life is good again and they feel good about about things, about the life, the direction their life is going, and just their general health, their health in general. Uh, uh, I talk about my traumatic events and trying times with my wife and ex-wife and on my allhappierman.com website. You can learn more there. But let's just say you as a person have been, had times where it's trying, like uh, my, my kids, they've been, my ex-wife just recently passed from pancreatic cancer, and she had this cancer for six months or so from the diagnosis, and uh, in the last few months have been really trying for her, obviously, it was tremendously debilitating, and it's, it's sad, and it's tough, but there's also the people involved in her family and the kids who uh, were there for her, and I know she appreciates all that, but let's say that it's a trying times because you're, you're adding the, the caring for someone and seeing someone in this state to an already uh, busy life. So it's times that are trying and difficult. So just recognize that you have been through this and you're going to want to get past it, move on, and feel better again. So what would be the first thing I would do in this time? Well, probably the first thing I would do is start eating more beef. I think uh, that will go a long way to, to helping you. The, the evidence seems more and more and more clear that uh, the beef is a very good for people and if you can incorporate more of it into your diet on a consistent basis you're going to feel a lot better than if you don't uh it, it's just it, it provides the the strength and the it provides what you need uh you might think in terms of one pound of beef a day for the next few months until you were you're kind of uh, feeling yourself again. Uh, the next thing is just to sleep. It's trying times, so that means it's time consuming, and you're probably cheating on your sleep. You're probably staying up late. You're probably getting up early. You're probably not sleeping that well. When you are sleeping, you're worried about life and all of the, all what's going on, and you're going to have to focus on your sleep. You. you the eight to nine to ten hours a night is what the focus needs to be, and you need this focus for a number of months uh, to to get you back to feeling well. Uh, sleep is is that critical to your well being? Now, there in, in addition to that, those you probably don't have the type of schedule where you can sleep ten hours a night, right? That's a lot of sleep time. So you're going to have less some nights, and then that would mean that you, in some times during the week, you should set aside to take naps and uh, kind of catch up that way. Uh, I would focus on the 8 to 9 to 10 and then take a few naps a week. Uh, 
as as needed. Supplements. Let's say I think the main supplements are just a good multivitamin, vitamin D, vitamin C, and fish oil. Now you can experiment with other things. There seems to be a lot of good things, supplements that can help you, but those seem to be the main ones. Those seem to be the ones that uh, help you avoid getting ill and help you get through a run-down nature. And maybe one more would be the garlic pills when you actually have a cold and you're actually coughing and sneezing with a runny nose. Then you over, that's when you overdose, have, not overdose, have a lot of vitamin C and some garlic pills. I, I don't really like the garlic pills, so I, they don't taste that great, but they certainly seem, if I'm getting a cold, I take a garlic pill with a couple of extra vitamin C's and I feel a lot better in a day or two and then I quit taking the garlic, but let's say the vitamin D, the vitamin C, the fish oil, and the multi, that's kind of the, the norm, and I think anybody with reasonable would say that that's not a, a bad supplement schedule. Uh, the other thing is just to sit around with your feet up. For, for, for some reason, putting your feet up makes you feel better. It, it gets, let's say, the pressure off your legs, uh, and it, it will help you for some reason, and you know, sometimes people frown upon that, right? They don't have recliners, they don't have footstools, or they don't want you to put your feet up on their couch, uh, but I would say you need to sit around with your feet up as much as you can. The other thing you might wanna do is relax your standards, meaning if you certainly, if you need your house cleaned a certain number of times per week, if you need everything kept up to, up to snuff all the time, Maybe you would relax all of that and just spend more time kind of vegging, vegetating and not doing as much. So you can take more time to nap and sleep and prepare good food. Um, I guess, you know, getting back to the eating, yeah, the beef is the, the best, but I, I would say that there's perhaps indulgences with the food that would be now would be the time to enjoy them, uh, to enjoy whatever types of food you need to kind of get you through things. Now it could be you know the the normal comfort food or the normal junk food or uh, other things like that, but you know you've gone through some tough times and you've made it, and the indulgence of the eating or the drinking maybe a slight reward and then let's say if if those indulgent foods don't contribute to your long-term health well then you could eventually taper them off you would say i'm just kind of enjoying these indulgences now I, I i feel like i need them to get through these tougher times and then eventually i will cut way back or eliminate them uh Excuse me, I got a little list here. I would say, you know, I have a lot of videos on weight training. I think weight training is, let's say, the, the best way to maintain your strength, obviously, and contribute to your health and vitality. Uh, so I would say that you would be good to be weight training while you're recovering, but I would be careful on the, the extent of it. Uh, I would go, maybe you would be going fairly heavy, but not overdoing it. Uh, cut back on the, no, the total number of repetitions, cut back on the total sets, cut back on the number of exercises, try to find a, a minimum effective dose where you're making a little bit of progress each time, but you're not uh, wearing yourself out. Um, give that idea some thought. I've got quite a few videos on, on weight training on, on my happy, All Happier Man uh, YouTube channel and some weight training articles on allhappierman.com. And I think you may find some value because you know, I'm, a, I'm a, in my late 50s and the, an abbreviated schedule where I'm not beating myself up excessively seems to help me feel much better. And I think if you're saying, well, I just haven't lifted for six months while my, I was taking care of a family member who was dying, well, now you're going to be 
either died and now now what right you're gonna jump back into a program but I would jump back into it gently easily little by little you've been through a lot you're gonna need time for yourself to acclimate to that and, and that goes to the other thing of cardio now certainly cardio intense cardio is very good for a person but uh, in if you're trying to feel better excessive cardio intense cardio long training sessions of cardio that isn't going to make you feel better uh, uh, you could you know think of it as I'll do some walking multiple times a week I'll, I'll walk you know, maybe a little bit here and there and then take some longer walks when I have time and I'll lift weights a couple times a week or once a week uh, and until I feel better until I've had a chance to let that accumulated uh, sleep help me feel better and the accumulated beef help me feel better uh, the other thing is you want to get in the Sun you know let's say you're, this is happening in the winter time and you mean the Sun may not really be available well yeah that, that'll be tough you'll just have to wait till summer or till the Sun shines but I would make it a point to spend 15 or 20 minutes or more in the Sun and try to try to get yourself some of that, uh, some of the sun's benefits. I know you can combine some of these, like sit around with your feet up outside in the sun, that's one thing, or take a nap in the sun, right, or take a walk in the sun, and you're combining this, because I know this sounds like a lot of stuff you have to do, and I know that you don't, you probably don't have time, because you're trying to sleep eight, ten hours a night, but give that, you know, some thought that, you can combine some of these you're vegetating in the sun uh, sit there in the sun for 15 minutes for 20 minutes take a little nap get your feet up uh, take a good walk with uh, you know a tank top on and uh, no hat and, and you know it'll go a long way to helping you feel feel better unplug meaning don't uh, feel the need to be always caught up to everything your emails uh, the phone stuff the computer uh, the news forget about all that forget about all that you, you'll find that if you can do that uh, ultimately if you minimize that that gives you more time for you and maybe the, the one of the larger issues is is to start making your plans for your life now you've probably if you've been trying times or traumatic events you've probably been dealing with with people that are uh, needed your help or were making your life tough in, in some manner and now that you've got past that and however you've got past it you've, you've left a bad job you left a bad relationship you've uh, the, the person who needed your care in their dying days is is passed well now what are your plans and what are what would you like to do and that's uh, a great use of your time you can combine the vegetating with your feet up and an indulgence and all of that that's why I love going to the coffee shop and sitting there and enjoying it and Maybe I don't have my feet up at the coffee shop, but I may have an indulgence. I'm certainly drinking my, you know, good coffee. I may have a, a something good to eat there, but I'm making plans for my life. What do I want to do? Uh, and the more you can do this, the better you're going to feel. You know, and that's also doing things you love. So, like I said, I love to go to the coffee shop. Uh, they have good coffee, obviously. For me, that the kind I like. I find the, the types of places that have the kind of coffee I like. And I can sit there for hours on a... I like to go once a week. You may find that that's a schedule that you just can't handle. But could you do this once a month? Uh, schedule a a full weekend afternoon at the coffee shop for once a month and plan and think and vegetate and enjoy life enjoy your life you, you, you don't have as much time as you think 
to to get busy on the enjoying of it, and that's what uh, I think you should give some serious thought to. And in addition to that, maybe the last thing I wanted to mention is to, as you're figuring out, making plans for your life, and doing things you love, uh, you would also figure out, well, how do I avoid getting myself into these traumatic events or trying times in the future and make a better, uh, be more firm with other people, uh, watch out for your how many commitments you commit yourself to, uh, be careful of who you get involved with so you don't have to go through all this again. Because sometimes people, you've gone through something tough and traumatic and trying, and then you, you, you barely get through all of this and you start all over again with something else. Well, that's just a recipe for a disastrous life. So give those ideas some thought all for now.